hang on a second, guys. One, 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 one second. What up? We've got to give a shout out to South Nashville Heating and Cooking. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Friend and supporter, show and proof. Also, the longest running sponsor of I Got Some Shit to Say, the podcast. Absolutely. Look, man, South Nashville Heating and Cooling, where quality and craftsmanship come together. They've been doing this since 1985. That's almost 40 years of service. Expert designs, quality installations, superior service. Absolutely. And let me tell you something. What's that? Tell me. I feel confident in the fact that South Nashville Heating and Cooling will keep me warm in the winter. For sure. I'm It'll sure. keep me cool in the summer. Absolutely. Big Matter of fact, these middle months, you'll yeah. be comfortable even then. Absolutely, Absolutely dude. Y'all know the deal, man. South Nashville Heating and Cooling, we love those guys. Y'all see the name, y'all see the number. Tap in. Feliz Cumpleamos. <laughs> Always. Stop! Stop! It's a, uh, I got some shit to say to podcast, man. We're back like we don't stop because trust us, we never do. All we do is work. Y'all know me. Fuck you, squints. That's right. RIP. Whizzle fizzle. Forever and always. With me as usual, back there in the corner, we got ChadOrbsTV.com. Yes. Yeah. That guy. Uh, immediately directly in front of me, I got the one, the only. That's right. Uh, we got a guest tonight, but before we get to that, I guess we could say a guest, but this man has kind of entered his own realm of, con- of, of of podcast appearances. For sure. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Hell Rail back in the building. Yes, sir. This is his fourth appearance on I Got Some Shit to Say to Podcast. Fun fact. He's a regular. Uh, but tonight, he came bearing gifts. As far as a guest, we have the one, the only, formerly known as Lil Murda, now known as Cortez in the building. What's happening? What's happening? Cashville's on, baby. What it do, though? Let's How you go. living, bro? Man, I'm good, bro. Right? I, can't complain, bro. I see you, though, bro. I see you. So I, I know you're doing all right. It's been a minute since I seen my man before this evening. But uh, I knew it wouldn't be long before I saw you. Nah, nah. I, I had definitely got a glimpse of what y'all had going. You know, I like I like that right there. I like what they got going on. Word. Me. That's what's up, man. Uh, So if you don't know... <laughs> Little murder has been in the game for how long? Been a long time, right, bro? Man, I remember doing this shit about twenty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh. Well, welcome to the yeah. round of that because yeah. all of us got a few years under our hey, belt, all, yeah. except for hey, real. I say that a lot of these youngers, they right at that. They like, damn, they who just, is that granddad right. ain't? Yeah, yeah, that's OG status, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. To us, it's just yeah, we're all kind of in that same. But but murder American. has got a really a really long tail. It seems like bro, when it comes to this rap shit, like as far as like it, when I think little murder and I think back like Cashville rap history, mm-hmm. like bro, that's a that's a rabbit hole. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But little murder kind of been on a hiatus. You know what I mean? Kind of stepped back for a while. Mm-hmm. How long has it been since we seen little murder making making music? Been like five and a half, six years. See what I mean? No. And now you know. <clears throat> Lil Murder stepping out of the shadows, reintroducing himself as Cortez. You know what I mean? Basically, like a brand remark. You know what yeah. I mean? He's just starting over, starting something new. And it's it, hard too. I don't mean to cut you off. I ain't gonna lie, that shit hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, fun fact: before we started, right before I hit record, uh, I I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the formerly known as thing. You know, just sort of like threw that out there. He's like, bro, that's cool, bro. But then he, you he, he said something that was really funny to me. He was like, bro, it's still funny because motherfucker called me Cortez. I ain't gonna, I ain't even gonna yeah, respond to it yet. <laughs> and he said, oh hey, God. Hey. So I know he ain't lying. I'm bringing the Cortez. I'm gonna keep walking. Bro. Right. That's how he lie. said it like that. But it, it, I mean, that's genuine as fuck. But to recognize, uh, what what's up with the name change, man? Well, first I want to get I want to get to the. To stepping away from it for a while and what that, you know, what that ultimately led to and like the reasoning behind that, maybe. Yeah. But uh, let's jump to why change your name to Cortez. Uh, I definitely felt like uh, Lil Murder was, uh, it ain't me no more, really. You know mm. what I mean? Like, yeah. I held on to it so long because I feel like it was a brand. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It wasn't just, I've been felt like I may have missed a lot of looks because of the name. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I've been wanted, you know, had thoughts of changing it. But I felt like it was a brand. You know, this is who people looked at for in that era of yeah. looking on the internet shit. So I kind of stuck with it. But uh, where I'm going now and, and what I represent is bigger than a guy named Lil Murder. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Like, I still got that 
in me, you know, people still call me murder. They gonna call me that because that's what they know me for. But it's really more just on the branding side. What, what right, as a right. product, what you would buy? Like, you ain't buying your kid little murder. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I get it, million percent. I just want to be able to be, you know, a product that anyone would even give a chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not, or or not give a chance because of right. the name. I, I totally understand. But ain't it funny though, bro? Like, you know, we talked just a little bit when I when I touched on like the OG status for a minute. Ain't it funny how we all think so much smarter now when it comes to this shit? Man, you better. Hey, I ain't, I ain't been out the mother that long and, and trying to be dumb. You hear me? You know, but yeah. it just seems like some of the moves we all made as artists or like as brands or as companies even back then was or, stupid. Stupid as fuck. Yeah. Like, like when you look at it at this modern day like thought and just like how you're supposed to move and operate, especially if you're trying to build yourself as a brand or a company. Stupid. Bro, shit. we was everybody in the yeah. city was just dumb as yeah. fuck with it for yeah. so many years, and, dude. And, and it would be dumber now. I mean, considering yeah, the access to shit. Yeah. You know oh yeah, for a sure. Lot, everything is I think right that's there. what a lot of it was before was that it wasn't near as accessible. You know, like online was if there was online, but I'm saying it just wasn't social media hadn't Dominated that what we do pretty yeah, much now other, as far as a marketing technology thing. streams yeah. and streaming sites and all that other good shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even, a, even outside of good. even outside of like what an artist could do for themselves, yeah. I just don't think Nashville had people that knew what to do with mm. that yep. type of music. Fact. For sure. You know what I mean? Like we we all needed more than what the artist could bring to the table. Like yep. Ooh, that shit was that shit was stupid, really, bro. Mm. Like, I spent so much money on that shit in the wrong areas, you know. Yeah. I mean? Never putting the money in the right area to make an artist work, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. But sort of I, like what one said, it, it's kind of a different game now. Yeah. Like now, you put your money in way different places than you would have yeah. back oh, yeah. then. This is well, I'm gonna be yeah. honest with y'all. I oh, feel rails like, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah rail yeah, in the yeah, building. Yeah. 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 I, I feel like a lot of times, especially back in the days. A lot of guys spent more money trying to build an image. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah. Instead Facts. of itself. Yeah. That's Correct. it. Yeah. Correct. That's that you hit it on the yeah. door. Right? Man, that's, that's very, it. Maybe that's a very good point it, because it, yeah, now it's like everybody nowadays people can embrace like their true self and it's accepted more, like mm-hmm. in whatever way it is, like because everybody back then it was like everything was pigeonholed, like you were either this kind of yeah. artist or or you were supposed to be this kind of artist, or, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you only had certain options. You couldn't just be different, and, and you know what I mean. And that wasn't cool back then. Hey, you only had one option. You had to be raw and street, nigga. Yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. When I first started, like and, yeah, and you had to have a connect. When yeah. I first mm-hmm. went to the studio, a real studio, it was Strike One Studios. Like damn, you know, shout out to Strike One. Yeah, shout out Strike One. What that? Like, what yeah. that? Uh, Rallo Bido. Nah, 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 that was R.I.P. Uh, Rollo B. Chris Kane. Yeah, Chris Kane. Yeah, yeah, Chris uh, Kane. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, C, okay. shout out to yep. CEO Chris Kane. Chris I Kane. Took me yeah. out there. Man, yeah, I, I gotta remember, I'm the youngest one in here, so. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, for real, we sure. talked about that off camera, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm you know, I'm here. from the South Side. Man, I ain't heard that. Yep, yep. Chris yeah. Kane. No, strike, just strike one. Yeah, strike one. Well, shout out, real. Before I missed the point. Yeah. Like, it's so much easier, like you were saying, to be yourself now. Yeah, absolutely. Coming in the studio around all there, you know. You had to be spending some street shit, even yeah. if like mm-hmm. that wasn't your total real life. You had to say some shit that was gonna relate absolutely to to, yeah. to the people. Like you couldn't come in there singing and then doing this shit yeah. that they doing now. But now yeah. that's more relatable. Yeah, that, that, you can reach you doing. can reach motherfuckers, oh. man. Like, like yeah, that that's it right there. You come out the, you come out the VO back then. Like you you might make it to 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 Memphis, Atlanta. Yeah, you know what I'm saying uh uh uh, uh what. But you hustling Ohio, different. You got like flyers. That. You got discs. You got yeah, shit like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you moving different, bro. Now, oh, kid. Now these fucking SoundCloud rappers can make a fucking platinum song in their pajamas and record it in their closet and post it to their SoundCloud. Wake up to a million streams and be popping. Yeah, right. that's amazing. And be yeah. talking gangsta shit or talking yeah. some whole different yeah. shit. They don't yeah. even put two and two together anymore, bro. It's just like whatever they hear that's that's good. Lot, they're, they're with it. A lot of these, a lot of these artists too. In the past, I say three or four years, a lot of some of the biggest viral songs. Were like songs that they didn't even own the beat to. They just downloaded the beat yeah. off YouTube, yeah. And rapped yeah. over it. Yeah, just threw it against the wall. They had to go back later, and you know what I mean. But like, yeah. that's how it all. different it is back then. When you know, it's just crazy how far along things yeah. have come, and it's made a th- made things a lot easier. But it's also made it a lot more oversaturated too. And then, but 
at least now you don't have to do like what Rel was talking about with the image thing. Yeah. You know, yeah, I feel like it was it was from there to now it was like two different type of pains. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause see, back then mm-hmm. I, I you know, even growing up, you know, you just like brother was saying, you had to talk about the shit, even if you didn't live it, you had to relate to the guys that was in yeah. the studio with you. Right? Yeah. And that was still somebody paying, yeah. right? Yeah. But now you can actually sing on a track and somebody, oh man, I feel it. Like, yeah. I just yeah. lost my auntie. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, for sure. That shit wasn't cool back then, bro. Right. Mm-hmm. It just wasn't cool to, to any any of that. Any of that. Yeah. It just nah, wasn't the, the same. The only people that sung were singers. Like yeah. R&B singers, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, or like fucking Bone Thugs and shit. Yeah, may get a little bit of yeah. it there, but that was kind of a little harmony and shit, then when yeah, T, when, T, shits. when T Pain started doing what he did, shout T Pain, he's probably watching. Blended, he kind of blended that. Like that's when I, I noticed that thing. It wasn't just R and B. That's kind of when it started blending to me the mainstream to that level. It seemed like I could be wrong, but it seemed like that early to mid two thousands. I just watched something on T Pain the other day. It was. Super interesting. I'm gonna throw a name out there that a lot of people don't give him his credit for, Got as far as the, like that gangster singing type shit. Yeah, Nate dog. Yeah, come oh, on, of now. course, bro. That's yeah. you, you know King of the saying? hooks. Like, yeah, like, dude. like, dude, dude can get on there and sing some shit and have gangster singing it. You know oh I mean? man, have y'all seen Nate Dog's son? He looks just like him. Does he do music now too? Uh, I think he's trying to, but it's not near as comparable to what we know. <laughs> yeah, Nate Dog's one. He's one of them. Yeah, but he look. I'm talking about dude. If you Google him, he's yeah. like. Splitting image yeah. of his father. I how it is. Ain't yeah. that crazy? Yeah, but they try, he's he's trying though, dog. Uh, he's, I don't want to say his name is something dog too. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah. but but to go back to man, they're talking about how like the new the newer times and shit. Mm-hmm. Like you don't you don't you also don't need a hundred thousand fans anymore. Right. Mm-hmm. No, you really don't. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you, you got a, you got a core following of twenty thirty thousand or something like that mm-hmm. right there. And you can do what we sure. were just talking about off camera. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, it's, 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 thank God for the way that things have changed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't change the way that things was either. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, uh, it's all part of the, yeah. part of the story. When you made that comment, it reminded me, uh, recently when we had, uh, Jerry Robinson on here yeah. mm-hmm. from Strange Music. And he said, uh, in order to get to tech and to get to sign to Strange Music, like he, mm-hmm. he said he started with a, like a hometown, 300 like he called it the 300 and it yeah. was like 300 yeah. core fan base that he relied yeah. on every time like every time he went live or every time he put something out or post an event mm-hmm. or release a new song he wouldn't worry about the thousand people in the city yeah. or, or the twenty thousand people in the city or however many downloads ultimately he just worried about those 300 people mm-hmm. so that w- when it came time to start doing shows only those 300 people got tickets for that show mm-hmm. but the next thing you know those 300 people turned to 600 people. Mm-hmm. So, that it, But it, it was always about those 300. It was really interesting to hear how he broke it down as far as like having that core fan base. It makes a lot of sense, though, man. And just watching that shit grow. It yeah. makes a lot of sense because if you got 300 motherfuckers, then they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna do marketing for you. Yeah, yeah. that's they're what he's talking about. All of that right there. Yeah. They're gonna promote you. It's so, just a campaign, yeah. man. It's, just, it's, it's day and age. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Like, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. watching this thing. This um. This little documentary on Gotti, and he was like how he signed like ESTG and different little people during the COVID pandemic. Mm-hmm. It was like it's because of the internet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's because of the yeah. internet. Like you yeah. still have to put in that work. Yeah, if you got these lawyer fans, he said he had. Yep. If I'm right, he said he had um, so many people mm-hmm. inboxing him, different people music. Yeah, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and yeah. that's how he got up on ESTG. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Thought yo Gotti. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Another fun fact. What about down to the DM, or down in the DM? Remember that record? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about that motherfucker just landed Angela Simmons? Y'all yeah. remember that song? Oh, yeah. You remember when he says, yeah. I got a crush yeah. on Angela yeah. Simmons? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just bagged her, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, That's dope, hey, bro. Hey, hey. Go. He ain't just they ain't, they ain't just coming out. He been, <laughs> he been, he been doing it, but hey, he's there now. Though. Y'all hey, see manifestation is what he's doing. Yeah, he been, he been. T- I'm with you, yeah. murder for sure. He's been hey, fucking her, hey, but funny. she let him. She let him announce that he's been fucking her now. Hey, like, yeah, he put her all the way out there hey, now, yeah, dog. That's Correct. funny though, man, because I watched that little show that her and Romeo and all them. Oh man. yeah. And when that song came out, she frowned about it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah, this ain't that that crazy, on the outside, she frowned. Oh, on the yeah. inside, she was like, oh, oh, never. This, that, the third. Yeah, yeah of course. You know, now, look. Rose thing, that's know? what that Rock Nation shit do, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That motherfucker yeah. on Rock so Nation. Now she's with it. 
Yeah, yeah. Yo Gotti's, Gotti. He's watching, yeah. man. He's probably watching. Yo Gotti's she's in a, a different bracket now, though. Man. She's a bad motherfucker. Dude. She's royalty, though, man. She's hip hop royalty, man. That's it. Yeah. I mean, he's kind of made his way to yeah. that same status, bro. Yeah, I remember man. when Yo Gotti life came out, bro, though. I remember Yo Gotti coming in House of Hits in Antioch, Tennessee, bro, dropping off tapes. Man. Oh, wow. Like That's facts. Yeah. Like straight up That's walking up in there and saying, Liz, I got these new tapes for you. That was life, bro. Yeah. 2003, dude. That's what. Yeah. That's that one. Yeah. I still listen to Yes, yeah, for yeah. sure. Dude. That's still my favorite Yo Gotti album, man. I'm the first one. My dude, yeah. 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 I'm telling you, man. Yeah. That Shot motherfucker. Guy. Man. That motherfucker I, I like yeah. You understand? That was that was the one too. I like more of the sold out. When you uh, want to book a show. Oh yeah. That bitch so, like, yeah. yeah. So that he was yeah. telling oh, yeah. me like the whole yeah. Yeah. it's funny now because like I listen to me, just like I listen to you, bro. And yeah. back then it was like I'm just a young nigga. I'm out here, I'm thugging it. The shit mm-hmm. I'm doing now, I couldn't think I would do in a million years. So I'm like, I'm just listening to it. Fuck it. I'm just listening mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. Then I go back and listen to it now. I'm older and I'll be like, mm-hmm. this motherfucker was telling me oh, something yeah, the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was telling me something yeah. the whole and you gotta time. Give him, and yeah. you got to give him credit, though, man. That motherfucker got one of the, one of the I'm talking about Hall of Fame club bangers, nigga. That, uh, that's what's up. That, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's, oh, oh, Dude, that's my favorite Gotti. That back to the basic shit, like that. That whole that right there. That's that's my pocket with Gotti, bro. I love mm-hmm. that shit. But yeah, that that's that one. That's the anthem for sure. So uh, back to back to murder. Yeah, man. Uh, Going down. Right. So let's let's get like a rundown, bro. Like how long? You know, I got a timestamp about what age you're sitting at right now, but. Where did the music start being an influence in your yeah. life, bro? Like, when did that become a thing? Did it was it purposely? Was it something you sought after? You know, did you fall uh, into it? How that happened for murder, bro? Yeah, I think I kind of. I always had a love for music. You know what I mean? Yeah, but since a young age type shit. For sure. For gotcha. Sure. I was mm-hmm. always like musically inclined. Could catch on the lyrics and shit quick mm-hmm. as hell. You know, before people. But I never like saw myself doing it. I mean, I just like the music, but uh, I don't know, man. I think I started like writing rap when I was about like twelve. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah. pretty fucking early. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I was just about really fucking though. around me and my partner. Was you? Did you play sports and stuff growing up? For sure. Yeah, I tried to do everything, bro. Yeah, for sure, man. Anything they had come around that motherfucker, karate, any goddamn thing. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Look out! I was, mm-hmm. I was in the projects, man. Like anything yeah. to escape. Like lifestyle. I got I'm going sure. to, I'm, I'm gonna write back to the ghetto. So anything that was gonna be extracurricular, I was with that shit. Yeah, you know man. What I mean, like I was one of them kind of kids. Yeah. I respect that. That was me when I used to get on the church bus knowing I ain't know nothing about God. But anything you get out of the way, <laughs> man. Yeah. Hey, they got the free food, the hot dogs. Get the boy, we gone. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Anything I was going to juvenile it. that day, so yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Man. Man. Yeah, like so when you started writing rap stuff, you said it was like twelve. Yeah. At what at what point did you start looking at it to where you was like, I I, I kinda wanna start doing this more? Did it was it was it right then or was it short nah, like, not like then, later on? Not then, yeah. Uh I was living out West Nashville then. Me and my little partner T High was just writing raps and shit. Uh, you know, I like to be descriptive with this shit. Hell yeah, dude. But uh not then and then I think I moved back out south and I had hooked up with my partners then and we kind of formed like little rap groups. And what shit. age was oh, this? Oh, cool. Okay. I was like 14. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was always oh, yeah. kind of like the leader, nigga. Not like to him, but I was like, yo, man, we need, you know, trying to gotcha. organize shit. So you know, hang on, before we yeah. keep going, what was your name at this point? Yeah. I had so many rap names. What was it? Come so on, man. I you think the- I was pushing around then. I think it was like Boss Man. Or oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss yeah, Man. Yeah. 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 He's in the building. Yeah, hey, I man. Like I used man. to be C Dub for you. C Dub over here. C Dub was mine, man. Hell yeah. Like, yeah. Boss Man. Keep yeah, going. I, I, the Boss Man, I think I. Uh, I think it's when the murder guy came. I was young murder, though. Yeah. Gotcha. Like, okay. Like, yeah. like. I think I think about I think when I when I really start, I think I don't know I was probably like sixteen. Okay. Yeah, man. And uh my little partner, Sleep, North Side Sleep, shout out Sleep. Sleep had a little uh, recording. Well he ain't had no recording shit. He just had a computer at the house. And you know, I'm a nigga that gonna try to put y'all got a mic. Yeah, plug it up. Record me. Mm-hmm. Right. We yeah. rapping. God damn it, I done recorded some uh 
some little shit, recorded like two songs on the computer mic. Cause oh, I, yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah. I let, uh, man, we never that shit. Throwback. Yeah, we man, right? that that's, shit, man. man, that's so old. I can, that I can on, picture uh, it, though, because I, I lived during those times, bro. I know exactly what the fuck's yeah, going see, down right, right now. Talking into I already know. Ass, little bitty motherfucker. That, that, tell me what that fucking big, yeah, little bitty ass <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> I know exactly what's happening right now. Look, though, that right there. Started the journey. Hell yeah, let's go. With them two songs on a CD, I went back to the projects. Yeah. And that's Young Murder. And that's when you're I like was, 16, 17? Yeah, I'm Young Murder. I'm like 16. Yeah. Gotcha. And, uh, one of the other, one of my other partners that was on there, you know, they going to, you know, they happy, you know what I'm saying? They walking around, again, you know, hood, letting people hear the shit. And the homie trail that was Ken Folk, uh, CEO that ran uh, Strike One. He heard that shit and they were looking for me in the project. Yeah. About two days, nigga. Yeah, you know I mean, nigga finally. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, 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 nigga finally seen me with hey, nigga skirt. I nigga, I'm walking through the project, nigga skirt. Man, I've been looking for you. I'm gonna take you to let's go. Uh, I'm done. Yeah. I probably got I got my own sack of weed already. I got my money. Yeah. Whatever I'm doing, I'm already ready. Well, what's he talking about? He said, I'm gonna take you where? We went to the studio. Got gotcha. you. Strike one. Yeah, got gotcha. you. Took me to strike one, got up with Chris Kane. Shout out to Chris Kane. Shout out Chris Kane. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't know. Chris Kane, like, like Dr. Dre. That mm. damn it. Like, mm. that nigga was dope, man. When it comes to producing and, and rapping, like, that nigga was dope. But uh, took me out there to strike one. And the f- shit, the first song I ever did out that motherfucker, man, it, it, they ended up putting it on uh, an album. Was it the baseball looking joint? Yes. Oh my uh, god! I can't I, believe I this. I, we've got to find this. <laughs> this is on. This is on. Yeah, to the Google machine on this because I know that Chris Kang album is available. I'm pretty sure that's really? available for digital shit down somewhere. Probably, Chris yeah. Kang and something. But I, Chad, in my whole dugout, in shit. the dugout, reloaded. Bases, bases loaded. What I love about Chris Kang, bro, is the baseball thing. Chad, you know where I'm at on that, and what rail you do too. But that's what I loved about Chris Kang and, and Strike One Productions or whatever uh-huh, it was because uh-huh. his whole shit was baseball. So I yeah. that was so appealing to me, bro. But if you were on one of these fucking projects that I used to be obsessed with when I was so, fucking 15, 16, was 16 years old, bro, this is going to be crazy. I was that one? Let me see. That's it. Bull series. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Bull series. Strike One Dugout. Is that what it says? 2001, bro, which would make sense because yeah, you'd be about like a teenager. Bro, right? shout out Chris Kane. Oh, Pull the fuck up on me, bro. Yeah. I'd love to have him over here. I'm 15. God, that's crazy. Damn. Can I see that? I want to zoom in on that picture and see those featured artists on there. Was this D-Murder? D- 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 no. Nah. That's somebody else? Let me see that cover again. It might have been. The That's one. crazy though, because I remember that cover, but I remember another one though. When you said reloaded, when you said reloaded, murder. I think I think you're on that too. It might be reloaded because, okay, the, but, I'll find it but reloaded, Chad looks real similar, but it's like enhanced so much. It's like so much better. It looks like it's almost like the same scheme of graphics, but enhanced. Everything just looks better. I just remember it being a fold out, and Chris Kang is like a base. Or something. It, it's like all baseball shit, bro. I love that shit. I, I loved it, bro. I just look at his smile, bro. Y'all. Where I was in my life, though, dog. Like I was playing high school baseball. I was all about baseball, so that shit was so. And that's why Mike, you know, Mike Studd. That, that's that's, that's, why it, he's, like, yeah. that's yeah, it. That's the one. Bases loaded. That's the one. Yeah. Let me see. Bases loaded. I'm on that one. Same shit. Yeah. Baseball shit. I love yeah. it. That's the one right there. Let me. I'm gonna tell you the name. That's crazy. Uh, that's so throwback to me, man. Yeah. A year attached to that though is like that's crazy. Ninety seven, ninety six, ninety seven. reloaded. For our listeners, they're they're going through the Google machine trying to fucking find this album. They got another but, one on there. I'll keep looking. Yeah, dude, I I know there's a few on there, but the one I'm talking about looked better than that one. It was me and a nigga named Trouble. I think it was yeah. Trouble. Trigger. 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 That's crazy Trigger. though, bro. Yeah, to put a timestamp on that though, that's late nineties for sure. Nah, it was early two thousand. Was it? Trigger, trigger for myself. Okay. Trigger, I think so. I was trigger for. Me. I know what you're talking about. That's crazy as fuck. Dog skin nigga. With yeah, the gold. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? What all happened with all this? So going through the strike one phase, like as far as that, and it's obviously it got you some opportunities, got you some placements or whatnot. On and these boys were popping back in the day, bro. Like Chris Kang and them were buzzing out here. Yes. And uh, 
it, you know, just they they uh they situation just dwindled out and I just kept pushing. From there, I think I uh I start I think I start fucking with flu. Shot fluid outrage. Yeah, flu's in the projects. <laughs> you know, I didn't hear it in the projects. I, <laughs> I caught flu down in the projects, goddamn it, copping them something, you know what I'm saying? Flu hustling, you know what I mean? And uh, he, he uh, said something about a studio or some shit, you know, and I was a young nigga back That's then. Flu. So yeah, flu I always got somewhere no, to work. I, no, I had access to studios and shit like that, you know what yeah. I mean? And, uh, I said, nigga, what well, I'm saying? What's the number? Woo, woo, woo. He mm-hmm. gave me the number. And goddamn it, man, I I learned a lot of shit did fucking with flu. Yeah. yeah. That's flu. Real talk. Like Was that like at the green room and shit? Was it were y'all recording over there? Uh up in Smyrna. Yeah, okay. Montana spot. Yeah, shout out Montana. Yeah, shout That's out my guy. Montana, man. So uh Shot bang out them was, them was the days when I used to just I leave the projects, go up there for two, three days, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. camp out. I, I used to make beats, nigga. <laughs> Bet that. Shit like that. Like I Dope. I can make beats. Like I cause at that point, like I want once you make shit accessible for me and I don't gotta wait on nobody. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. It's I know home. That. Yeah, yeah, it's work. I get it. It's yeah. home, man. Right? For me. Made, you know, yeah. what I'm, I'm making beats, <laughs> nigga. I'm recording myself. So I learned mm-hmm. all this shit back then. So like now people don't people come over my house and see I done record it. And I'm mixing it. I've been doing this shit for so long, man. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. Just to fast forward a little bit, that's what you're doing currently? You're doing everything in house? Correct. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. That's, for you. Dude. that's, that's the only that's, way I can do it now. That's, Fuck that's yeah. I love it though. But like we were saying, like as accessible as these tools are and shit nowadays, why wouldn't you? Right. Especially if you know what you want to sound like and you know how to orchestrate that and make right. it come together I mean, now. I still send it off and get it mixed and mass. Shout out to Lil Nick. Man. Hey, bro, most of them do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know a few at this table other than you that do it like that. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. get it recorded and then yeah. get it somewhere to get it the way you want. Like, sure, but for sure. hell yeah. That's yeah, so yeah. awesome. Because I know you wasn't doing that shit back in the day. You just were telling nah. us that, you know, you yeah, was going bro. wherever you could get it done. For sure. But like, yeah. from the flu shit, like, Shout out Flu, Authentic TV. Oh, a that's my guy. Shit, I need like, to get him a over. A lot of the shit that I was recording in, uh, that was some of the first songs that Buck and 50 heard of me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so is that Buck, that's Shout leading into the, the, G unit. Correct, the Buck right. stuff. Okay, yeah, we, like, that yeah, was like, it was all distant. That was like, this was like my grooming time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got groomed over here with Flu now, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. Uh, right after that, you know, I was just in the street, you know, I don't... I gotta be careful with this shit. No, I hear you good, yeah, I hear you. yeah. But uh, yeah, I just knew people that knew Buck. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I used to just run into the Buck a lot back in the days. You know what I mean? In the hood and shit. I might, you know, you, you know, see a nigga and shit. And, uh, mm-hmm. But once I got around people that really know, I'm like, give him a CD, give him a CD. Like, let me tell you, the young guys something because this is a good point. Like, yeah. They'll be mad at you, man. They'll try something one time and, and be mad at you or something. Oh, fuck a man, y'all know how many times I used to try shit. Yeah, keep you know coming. Yeah. I ain't yeah, man. mad no nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you a CD this time. I'll see you six, seven months later. Yeah. Got another for your Pay attention ass. to this. Yeah. I hope they're listening yeah. to that. Yeah. I, see, I see your ass. You, you probably need to listen to the shit. But guess what? I done got better. I got another for your yeah, motherfucking right. yeah. ass. So, man. for sure, bro. The way you're talking you know and, and where you're talking in the specific spot of this story, is that how you're referencing the buck in them? This how like, this has came like you just continuously gave him shit. Yeah, man. I didn't, until they bit the hook, basically. He didn't really, still ain't bite the hook. Uh, you know, talk your that, shit. You know, it had yeah. to, I, I came, it was a point to where I just, I just freestyled in front of everybody. Mm. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I just yeah. had to take it. I felt it. Some of it was like, hey, man, I gotta go right now. <laughs> right. Were yeah. you known yeah. for that already? Freestyling I, and shit? Nah. I mean, yeah. Hell yeah. Like, okay. we, like, man, we used to rap about Yeah, all of course. The time. Like Jelly Roll, me Jelly Roll, shout out to Jelly Roll, Starly though, uh, Chine. I'm talking about the oh, greats. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure, man. Shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. every time I, dude, we yeah. seen each other, nigga, we was at each other's head. That's dope, dude. That's dope. You asked them, any one of them niggas, I ain't never stood down. Hell yeah, talk I your know, shit, I bro. Never, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you yeah. know, I was loaded back then. Hell you know, yeah. With that, with that rap shit, but, uh. What we was talking about, I was talking about how I led into the, you know, like I said, I was working with Flu and uh, yeah, so, like I said, some of them was some of the earlier records that that Buck had heard of me and uh, like I said, I had spit that day and goddamn it, I went to the studio that that day, 
And God damn it, uh, Shot Money just so happened to be down here too. So. Shot Money XL. The yeah. perfect time. Yeah, yeah, it was a good time. You know what I mean? And, um, I did like three records that night. And shit, the rest was history. The rest was, was history. I, I, so, love, I love them type of stories when somebody, um, when they give you the background and then they tell you like somebody just happened to be there. So it was yeah. perfect timing. Perfect timing. In the right place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Know who the fuck Shot was. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm a yeah. Was this was this right after Get Rich or Die Trying and all that? Was has that that dropped yet? Yeah. The Fifty Cent album they got they got that this Buck was, was on that started. Yeah, this was height. This was the height of it. Uh, okay, got gotcha. you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just as a time frame, so you're probably looking at like oh uh, three oh four. Nah, 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 nah. This was like oh six, oh six, oh. Okay, so this was like I see what this you're saying. This is like Fifty no, doesn't have a couple. Of, yeah, yeah. yeah. got gotcha. you. Okay. Wow. Hell yeah, dude. Out, out the book album. Yeah, around, for sure. Around. After it was around. Yeah, after yeah. I got a question for you, bro. At any time, you've been in this shit almost a dub, right? If not a dub, at any time, and I ain't never asked nobody this, have you ever felt intimidated being in the studio with some of these greats? Like even I'm gonna be honest with you, because a lot of people might not say flu is a great, but to me he is. Oh yeah, yeah flu will go all saying? day. Like, he he he's a guy that's how we were saying off camera. Mm-hmm. To me, another Charlie yeah. P. He always got something in motion. Like, yeah, I it agree. Million percent. It's like, <laughs> like not yeah. saying you stood down, but it was like, all right, I got to come hard. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Got I, yeah, for sure. Once I learned how to rap, like, yeah, it was some times when you get in there where you know I gotta, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, the pressure's yeah. off. You yeah, gotta get in there, you gotta bring that shit. But no, like, I, I don't think I never was like. Down my balls at, at, at a point. Not around any specific individual or nothing like that. Nah, dope. Yeah. I mean, now, like, see, now it's like I ain't, I ain't with the the barry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the rap battle shit. Like, mm-hmm. I can go song for song with anybody though. Talk right. your shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, right. like, that's like just, now, that's just your, that's your growth as an artist too. Yeah, it's it's it really is. Like, the it's songs, a difference, though, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. You can have yeah. you can have all the balls in the world, man. You can't put a song together. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a lot of people out here like that. You know what I mean? But when you when you master yeah. how to how to how to put a song together, that mm-hmm. shit's different, man. The confidence level shoot up and all that, right? There. Yeah, the confidence is a big thing too. Yeah, even just trying to have a hot verse back then was all you had to worry about was a verse, right? Yeah, That's how yeah. Shit was we had the hard, just, hottest sixteen. That's, That's when we were doing sixteen it, bars. You know, yeah, so it wasn't that hard. Yeah, just do your verse, you know what I mean. But now you gotta. Hey, fun fact, I got one. <laughs> Listen, so we're over there trying to think of one. No, 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 no. I was waiting on brother to get through talking. Yeah. So we was now. Let me tell you how this happened. Uh-huh. So I, I ended up hitting bro up. I had a couple people. I had just moved in my house, so I had a couple people that I was gonna go with as far as the landscaping thing. So I've <laughs> always been a fan of bro. So I ended up hitting bro up. I uh, bro, come out. We doing this landscape and shit. I'm telling you, it's hot. It's negative <laughs> hell outside. Negative but he hell. done tapped out. And I'm like, look, bro, I'm going to do it. Just calm that, down. Bro. But I'm talking to him about like, bro, what you going to do with this music? What's going on with this music? Because I'm talking to him like, all right, look, I'm a customer. But what you don't know is I'm a fan, too. Like, I wanted right. you to come I love this. This it. is so dope. Yeah. Right, so I'm talking to him. Now, I'm a dad. I knew rem- y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this is true, though, right? Remember what he's saying. Yeah. He in the garage. I put a fan right there. He's sweating. I'm talking Man, down. listen, man. I almost died. Is it just you and, and Cortez yeah, right yeah, there? Yeah, okay, yeah, keep yeah, going. Just me and bro. We in my house. We doing this, this nigga help me, today. y'all. Boy, that bad ass got out there help me. Boy, I needed him, too. So I'm talking to him about music. He's sweating so much, he can't even think right. Man. He was like, bro, listen, we got two more bags. I'm like, bro, I got this. Just show me what to do. So the whole time, I'm throwing little music out the little hints. Like, bro, what you going to do? What you going to do? He oh, called me out the blue. Yeah. I thought he was going to call me something about my yard. Yeah. He called me. I answered the hold phone. Hold on. Hold on. Did he, did he pay you to help him with your yard? No, no, no. I told him, listen. <laughs> I told bro, listen, your price is your price. So guess what? No, he pay, we, no, we paid it. Was. Hey, we, you know what? He seen how much he like. Damn, I probably should have paid, bro. Hey, bro, that's, like, how, that's how I felt. <laughs> hey, but listen, he called yeah, he me. Like, hey, how it look, though? Hey, he, you got that motherfucker uh, proud of that yard. Yeah, I'm gonna speak for hard, that yeah, motherfucker yeah. be on his shit, watering his shit. It be 16 <laughs> yeah, degrees yeah, outside, yeah, real water in the bushes. Yeah. Bro, did you, yeah. Rail? Did you put like trash bags over your shit? Yeah, yeah. Well, he did. 
No, I, we ain't do, do trash bag though. We do the, we do the, yeah, do the, the actual, actual, actual launch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he, he I do it. I get him a real install. He got everything. Real, like look, this shit. So he called me. Yeah, I love it. He yeah, called me. I'm thinking he's going to ask me something about my yard or something. So he called because I, I end up hitting him up and I'm like, bro, I think I'm going to change some stuff. So I'm thinking he's going to talk about that. He's trying to get me out there. Man, I was like, bro, I ain't coming to go that much. I'm tired of the <laughs> I, I answer the phone. I'm on speakerphone. I answer the phone. I never forget this. I'm driving. I'm, I answer the phone. Speakerphone. Bro, bro. I'm talking about he's super hype. They got to hit me. I got some shit. They got to hit me. Fuck yeah. Listen, but were y'all was, homies what? before this? Listen, no, no, I, I, no, no, no. Like I'm, that's the I'm, best I'm part of the story. It, yeah, of I'm course. Always, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I've always fan. been a fan. Always right. Him too, right. So um, when bro hit me, he was like, they got to hit me. They got to hit me. I got some shit. He was like, and this ain't even on. And it's crazy now how you see when he just dropped this song and he yeah. had Cortez. Yeah, on. we're going to get to that. Mm -hmm. Right, like it's crazy now because he was like, "This ain't on none of that shit." They gonna mm -hmm. feel me on this. Mm -hmm. First thing I thought about, man, we gotta get this podcast, bro. We gotta yeah. get you on the podcast. Yeah. I said, I gotta call Squints. Fun yeah. fact, <laughs> like, he did. Yeah, and it's crazy, like now to hear him now because at first when we was out there doing this yard, he wasn't trying to hit none of this shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's so <laughs> dope though to say. I, I, I was going too. Then I don't think I had no. This is that a retirement oh, yeah, song yeah. you're talking about? Yeah, he's trying to talk a long time. Arsenal, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, look, he, had, out this he had a Gatorade that was half open, a Powerade. I, you know, I keep juices. <laughs> right. A bunch of waters, and he's still in the fan sweating. Hey, hey, I feel him, man. I feel him. I know how this shit is out there. I think that's so dope, though. Like, as silly, <laughs> as silly as you think that sounded, bro, or as, like, as random as that thought may have been for you to tell us that, I think that is fucking dope. Yeah. Because cool. without you calling that motherfucker just to come like just to come look at your yard from initially being a fan and then seeing that murder was doing some kind of landscaping shit yeah. and you pull that card and look at that as an opportunity just to chop it up with murder and see where the music's at. Right. So but it, still it, get your yard taken care of. It, it was more of I felt like I planted. All I needed him Absolutely. to do was respond. Yes. Once you respond, that's why wow. I asked him. I didn't negotiate no price. Hey bro, what what is your price? Come out here. Yeah, I really wanted him out there to talk about the music. He yeah. didn't know I'm a yeah. big fan. Yeah, so it, it was like I planted it, and it actually it worked. And when <laughs> was this to put a timeline on that? Uh, last year. Sometime. Yeah, it was like midsummer. But I, I remember though when it started happening, and all that happened because Rail reached out yeah. and he told me. Yeah, he was like, "Bro, you remember murder?" Yeah, and I, I was like, "Like, I was like, I was like, little murder, like with Buck and them, like they used to run around with like Unit South shit, like all that." And it, murder, bro. Yep. He got some new shit coming. And then, like, it, I swear to God, it was like Domino's test because, like, I saw people start posting the Out of Retirement song, like, days later. But it was under Cortez. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's fucking with me. And I, but I know your, I know your face, bro. I know you. So I'm like, I'm, hold up, dog. Fuck my world <laughs> up, bro. Like, it did. It, it a million percent fucked my world up all the way up till today. Like, honestly. Yeah, I think the name change had to happen, though. I think it's a smart move. I mean, it, it, you nailed it. Why, too, though? I mean, this day and age, as far as, as far as like, uh, I mean, if you're thinking as deep as a rabbit hole of parents, what they may think or something like that. It's just a sure. lot. Sure. Yeah, it's, it's a lot coming. Cortez is more marketing. I can't more. never run into no, no, no copyright. None of this. It's just, shit, it's just no more trademark. marketing friendly. You know what I mean? Shit. Like, a little murder. I mean, yeah, I yeah, know. Well, and you and you've grown, like you said, you've grown as an artist, yeah. and your content is different than what it was when you was Man, they starting out. They you know? wouldn't get this shit that I got that I need. Uh, uh, what's his name? Pitbull on a chance. Man. That's a little murder. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. You know what I'm I got shit. I need Pitbull on. It. There you go. Like it, yeah. He's probably watching. Hey, people yeah, got the people making money, dog. Yeah, for yeah. sure. People making the hits, man. That's the thing, man. Everything is wide open, man. Like, the, 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 the whole motherfucking yeah. market is wide open. You can make whatever you want and get it to whoever you need to get it to. But yeah, I mean, all you know, any name, man. Don't let no, you know, like I, 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 I shit. I made this shit work for me, nigga. That shit got me around fifty now, nigga. I got so, so I mean, whatever gonna work if it's for you, it's for you. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. all right. But I just feel like that. Ain't for me no more. You know what I'm saying? Not that really. lane, yeah. just that that I feel you. I mean, yeah. I still got some music, you know. I, 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 I don't. So with the yeah. so, let's get back to it. So when you were 
you made the moves and you and you got yourself in the right positions. You found yourself in the studio with Buck and them and and Shy Money and all that, and it led to opportunities from there. Correct. And we were putting a timestamp on that, like 06, 07, when all that went down. And you stayed pretty active around those same folks for you know a couple of years, I'd say. Correct. And then, uh, when did it when did it stop? When did you when did you ease off the off the gas? As far as a music career goes. So like you say, you've been away for about four years, so that you know, that puts you to about I guess I mean, even what? after my little you know, even after my little stint with with Buckingham, you know, I still kept it going for mm-hmm. for a few years on my own after that. I put out Did the Done Talking album yeah, that was, that was the first. Yeah, that was like one of the first. Okay. Was that after the Correct. June and stuff you started doing. I mean, I was think I was still, I was still. Oh, you was it was just a solo yeah. project. I got yeah. you. Yeah, just okay. still affiliated. Oh yeah, you got Buck and High C and all. Yeah, yeah I see. Okay, still around. Oh, you like, got BG was, on there too. Was just trying to push stuff that we could have. You know got gotcha. you. Yeah, that's all, man. You know, just trying to be a, a better man. But let me see. I think. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It says you got a little sleep on here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. T Hyde. Yeah. All Star. But yeah, even after that, I like I said, I kept some yeah. s- some, some some music going. Fluids on there too, yeah. I used to drop man at least once a year, you know, something. Then I kind of laid back, came, you know, popped back again. And mm-hmm. That's the last time I just really, I kind of just fell out of love with it. You know, where did the concrete mm-hmm. jungle come from? As far as the meaning, the name, just that time in your life. I was just in the prizes like every day. Just like hustling and shit, just out there, just out there. Gotcha. What, was, yeah. was that around the the G Unit time? Uh, I think that might have been. Was it? Was it one of them things? You, after that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I thought it was after. right. Was, what was the was young after that shit? Like, what was the last thing you recorded before the break? Uh, you remember? Say it again. A higher love. A higher love. That's a project or just a song? That was a project. Gotcha. Was like a, you oh, see yeah. that, Chad? It was like a nine. Nah, yeah, but I see the uh, you and High C dropped one, The Hustle Don't Stop, and around that same time. Wasn't that the one with the heart? Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. That was like a project I did in like nine days. Yeah, pretty collective catalog, though, bro. I mean, you got a lot of music under Lil' Murder. This shit gonna sound funny, bro, but I promise you. At a point of time in my life, I used to get you and Sosa to plug picks up. Like, when I hear y'all rap, like, I used to get y'all yeah, mixed up. Sosa hard, though. Yes, yeah, he hard, too. Like, I used to get y'all mixed up. And I would know until somebody would tell me, ah, oh, that was Sosa. That wasn't bro. Like, so, Sosa is one of the, the, the vets that the youngest got to know. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to be real with you, man. Sure. If, if we're just sitting here, me as a podcast host, Chad, if I, if I sat here and I closed my eyes like this right here, Mm-hmm. And murder starts talking. You know who I'm gonna think it is? Who? Trapper Mandel. Oh, trap! When you talk, bro, you sound just like trap. Shout out to trap. Yeah. Y'all don't rap the same at all. But when you when you're just sitting here talking to me, like your yeah. your cadence of your voice, I swear, bro, I thought it a couple times, like looking away, like I could just sit right here, and you, that's what I that's what I hear. Young trapper. Yeah. yeah man. Shout out to trapper. Oh yeah, you dropped one in tw- uh, 2012 too. By any means necessary. And I was consistent though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Just just, I'm on I mean, I yeah, you know what I mean? I could have done more. You know. Yeah. I, 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 but as far as a, a catalog goes, bro, like it's a it's a collective catalog. You got a lot of lot of material over the years. Yeah, I don't yeah. even want none of that shit no more. I think that's <laughs> like like one said. You know, that's just the growth. Or I, one of them said it. Chatter one. I don't one agree of y'all. With it. I don't agree with it. What do you think, uh, bro? Go. You can't take it. It's like I hear him. Yeah, and no, I'm saying I feel, li- yeah, literally, yeah. I like I call bro, like bro, make a post of something about groceries, and oh, uh, I get a call from bro, like it's crazy how a relationship is now. Yeah. But you can't take it from a fan. You get what I'm no. saying? You no, still yeah, gotta yeah. give yeah. me that. As yeah, a fan. you over yeah. talking like yeah. one. I feel that. Right, you got you yeah. have to I give me think, that. I honestly think what I'm what I'm gonna give. What I really, I don't want to rush it out, but I feel like I want to get it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I see, I see I see both sides of what you're talking about too. Uh, murder what you're talking about like the old stuff you just uh, kind of want to like it's behind you type stuff. Yeah. But I see what Rail's talking about too because I've been on both sides of that where I've told an artist I like this song and, you know the, and it's an older one and they're like man that shit, that was that was trash. Yeah. And I've told people that about stuff they've told me they liked, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I see I see both sides I, of that I for totally sure. Get it. I totally yeah. Get it. And it's like 
I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna be biased, you know. If a motherfucker yeah. doesn't need to know of something that they really like, and I'm gonna do a show or something, <clears throat> I'm definitely gonna do the motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah of course, yeah. Because like you got, you got to look at from where I come from. I'm from out east. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you had a lot of older cats that fuck with cats. You know what I'm saying? A lot of cats from my hood, yeah. fuck with cats from his hood. You get what I'm saying? They, hey, I fuck with niggas from out south. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. My age, it was. I mean, we beefing with them South Side niggas. You know uh, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and my thing was, is, hey man, dude, hard. Like, I don't know yeah, this man yeah. personally, but dude, hard. Like, yeah. I literally feel like, and shout out to Vac. Yeah. Shout out Vac. Shout out to Vac. Yeah. And Steve, I got, I got, I got a PSG too. Yeah. I was literally, I feel like I was the first guy from my hood. I'm from Inglewood. Yeah, yeah. That was banging South Side. Yep. <laughs> Because it was so, I'm, <laughs> Chad was Chad was the first one in Greenbrier doing it, bro. They were. I was telling back them in two thousand one. BOP, bro. South be balling, dog. Like that was a thing, dog. Yeah, for sure. Was on the whole city was on that motherfucker. They used to have, they had them CDs burned and sent through Springfield, like where I live at. Yeah, brother. In two thousand one, people were bumping that in in high school, and we had no clue who these people were, like where they were from. We knew they were from Nashville. Yeah. This is before I rapped or anything. I was here in Bezel Gang back was like fourteen. Yeah, you know, I, I, I took it up yeah. on myself. Oh, we love and the gang. Cuz I tell you, growing up in the same household, mm -hmm. this is my first cousin growing up in the same household. I used to bang P Gates. Yeah, I used to bang Pistol. Like Shot I pistol. wanted, pull up on I me, wanted to hear yeah. different music, not just my yeah. hood. Because these mm -hmm. dudes are uh, we beefing. Like, don't get me wrong, I. Back then, I was going to different alternative school because I was fighting. Yeah. So I'm fighting niggas from outside, but at the same time, I'm getting home and I'm banging this shit. Shout out to yeah. alternative hey, You schools. say pistol. Yeah. What you know about King P, though? Man. Oh, man. You know? Ooh, man. I, I, I've been a fan since King P on the tape. Dude, I, dude. I got the tape. From yeah, the man. Over somewhere in Salem Town, nigga. You heard what I pulled up? Yeah, I hey, heard what I pulled up. I baby. heard it. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I heard it for sure. Bro, yeah, I, I've been a fan. Shot pistol. Pistols. Bro. Pistols. The, he's one of we, the goats. Yeah, dude. we yeah, put it out there a few up. times, bro. We would love to have Pistol on the show. Yeah. And Chad yeah. wants that Chad yeah. Arms TV interview. Oh pistol. yeah, I'll go. I'll go to where he's at if he wants to. Man. That, yeah, we've talked about it a few times. One of us says he's he's entertained it before, but. Yeah. I, I follow Pistol on Instagram. I love when he drops those videos. He be, yeah. he be speaking yeah. true. Big old, big old gems. Big old gems. I always, like I said, I always had a love for that music shit, but like I never seen me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't know where I fit. Yeah. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? In it. I don't think I was never trying to insert myself. Yeah. You know yeah. yeah. I mean? Until, I, like I said, got to that point where I just like, let me see if I can write my own shit. Do you finally feel like where you're at now with the music that you're doing now? Do you feel like you finally tapped into that part of the artist as far as like knowing exactly where you want to be, where you want to be, and like Great follow up, Chad, what you want to do? Yeah, and yeah. It, it's fine. It's like finally, and I didn't even know that like I wasn't. I was so far from it. Man. I know exactly what you're saying, <laughs> you know what dude. I'm saying? Like I was good, but like yeah. Now that I've actually, I got my own shit. Yeah, you that you can and that's so much more of an artist, man. And see, that's probably why when people talk about your old music, you say I mean, that. That's why, bro. Because yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I know what you're. I know exactly I what you're saying. But that's dope that you. <clears throat> a lot of artists aren't lucky enough to even ever find that with it. Like a lot of them either give up or they just don't. I don't know. Like they don't really I mean, have I, that I, moment. I, I right. ain't giving up. I yeah, you know I mean? for sure. We for sure. It was over. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, so what inspired it to come back? Real. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be some shit? That'd be a fucking cap to this story, boy. <laughs> now, nah, what put you back in the game for real? Oh man, I think I think I kind of was having fun doing little shit with, with Elroy the boy. Shout out Elroy yeah. the boy, another person that hasn't pulled up on me yet. He has kinda, that invite though. He I was knows he does. Having a little fun doing shit with him and um. Cali, I don't know. Or a back. I'm gonna be yeah. honest, man. I uh, I just got bored with life. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and this is a personal shit. Like, so I, I I was like, I was at home, and I even had told my wife one time, like, man, I'm just I'm just fucking bored. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I never knew this of me to be this way. You know, you might go get your money, and you know, I just I'm like, damn, I gotta. I gotta do something, you know yeah. what I mean? And uh, 
I didn't know what it was though, bro. Yeah, I swear I did. I didn't know what the yeah. fuck it was. Yeah, just had to get active. You something, didn't know how. something felt missing. I was just yeah. at, I was just out one day, man. I got another, February, I got another question for you though, because okay, you know I'm I'm gonna cut it to you straight, okay? Just how you said earlier, what's for you is for you, right? Mm-hmm. And this ain't to get on nobody else's story, none of that. But I hear guys, and you know I'm I'm connected in the city. Shout out to Buck. It's one of my guys. I can, mm-hmm. I can FaceTime him. He picked the phone straight up. It doesn't matter. Um, but do you feel like, because a lot of guys, I, I've heard, I ain't going to say a lot. I've heard somebody, and I'm not going to mention their name, somebody tell me, well, I feel like Buck could have did this and did that. And talking to Buck, Buck would tell you now, I feel like I could have did more for my city, for different artists, different things. Do you feel like, honestly, in your heart, Buck owed you that or everything happened oh, for me? shit. Reason? Mm. I respect. I appreciate it. what happened. I yeah. respect that. Yeah. I people, respect. I mean, you know, yeah. it was people outside looking in. <clears throat> I'm a different kind of nigga, though. You know what I mean? So for one, it's outside people looking in. They looking at it like, oh man, like I'm supposed to be mad at what didn't happen. Right. Yeah, I right. appreciate what did happen. Right. Right. That's, yeah. a, clip. That's you, a clip. Right there, That's a clip right there. That's a clip. That's a clip. I'm saying like. What the fuck? Like, if it, it went bad for everybody, mm-hmm. how the fuck I'm gonna be mad? Like, I'm that shit was a hell of a ride, man. Shout yeah. out to dude, bro. You know, like, right. you know, there ain't no, you know, none of that shit. But uh, yeah, people will look at it like. Shout out to hey. you for not. You know what I mean? Right, right. Man, that's listen, the right man, way. To, that's the right way is. to look at that. That though, bro. Listen, that is though, like if we on the team, Lama. But on the quarterback, if somebody calls or create a turnover, man, like we all lost the ball. That, we, we, yeah. I, I mean, it's like how how much do we blame a motherfucker? Mm-hmm. Man? Right. Yeah. You know, th- yeah, this the big part. A lot of people that be just sitting up blaming motherfucker ain't never been in the goddamn exactly. game. Right. Man. Right. Right. Yeah. What you I'm said? I'm talking about like. Hell, motherfucker don't even know what how, how, to, how to feel. That's an armchair quarterback, dog. Yeah. Yeah. In the game, let alone the fumble. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just yeah. one of them yeah. things where I hear a lot of guys come on podcasts and they, hey, man, um, this is where I met, this is where I met. So me, I'm the type of guy, I don't give a fuck who gets mad. I, I'm still going to respect you. I'm still going to love you. If I love you, I'm a fan. It is what it is. But like – when Buck finally get on this podcast, like like I mm-hmm. reached out to him, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Squints had gave him the invite. He'll tell you, man, Rail is one of the guys, genuine guys that ask me about shit and not bite his tongue. Yeah. So yeah. you hear a lot of guys that, nah, man, I, I feel like this and this and that, or this why I'm at in life, but the whole time is they still hate him. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They mm-hmm. holding some, and it might not be him. I'm not. I'm not just speaking of. That situation just in life. So my thing is, I like to come back and hey, I want to try to pull this card to see if you really mean that. Yeah, shot mm-hmm. the real, right, right. Yeah, I fucks with you, bro. That's the goat. Yeah, really is stamped. But that, that's yeah, some grown man shit, though, it's, bro. It's crazy. It really is it's crazy how motherfuckers will, 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 will try to put their put their feelings on you. you yeah, that or saying? put their two cents on top of that. Yeah, shit. I mean, you know, but, like, but, like try to shit. try to build your opinion towards that scenario. Come to Nashville, hey, listen. I tell I tell a young rapper this. I give you this kind of advice, bro. Especially in Nashville, and this probably for every city. Like now at this point, it's hard to have rapper friends, bro. Mm, yeah. yeah. Why you say that? Because he gonna be beefing with him next week, yeah. and you in the middle of. It. Yeah. Yeah, we seen some shit like that. This is yeah. how it go, bro. Like, like. Yeah. It's hard, bro. So you gotta, and, you, you and, know, and those, what I'm and those like, outside motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I've heard, I've heard motherfuckers tell me, motherfuckers try to tell me, yeah, man, jelly, jelly should have did this right here. Jelly should have did that right there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Trying to, trying to imprint your feelings on me. Mm-hmm. You, you, hey, know, man, you know what I'm saying? Young, mm-hmm. That shit, that's, better, that's, hey, that's, that's better that's outside. Hey. That's an outside shit. You know what I mean? That that motherfuckers. Yeah, gotta that about. outside influence is just not yeah. really welcome in most of these scenarios. I tell the young guys what I learned being the youngest guy in this room right now. The gangster shit you can do is have a conversation with a man. Mm-hmm. That's the gangster yeah. shit. What you, you said, Rail? Have a conversation because if you listen to what she telling you mm-hmm. and he listen to what he's telling him, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've never had a talk. You just taking somebody. It's like somebody altering your vision. You might as well let me get a pen and write in your eyes. Man, what you Mm -hmm. said. Jesus fucking Christ. I hope y'all are paying attention to this. It's real though. Fuck yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, man. I mean it's conversations go a long way. Yeah. Yeah, it's um 
it's dope though that you going back to what you you were saying, Cortez, like that that being able to have that outlook of that situation mm -hmm. is not usually how that works. You know what I'm saying? Like you usually don't see as far as like what we see. Yes. People reflect on certain situations. It's usually not in that light. Yep. You know what I mean? It, it may be from a bitter standpoint or whatever, and it may be rightfully so, but at least to look at it from that standpoint, because what look, else could you do ex about it? Exactly. You know? What else could you do? It's it's kind of like is what it is type shit, but yeah. to Chad's point, to look at it from the perspective you just portrayed is the most admirable shit we could, that any of us could yeah, ever sure, applaud. Sure. Like yeah, real sure. talk. You know what I mean? Like, any other response to that type shit is almost a negative response. So the way that you answered that shit was genuine as fuck, but it's the most admirable shit. We're all sitting around this table being like, fuck yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's real shit, bro. And the I I don't know, man. To take to take a four-year break and to, to like you say, to, be, to have the opportunities you've had as an artist and be put in certain scenarios and to – to have a catalog as deep as yours and, and to have a, a, a name that's been known in this city for a long time. And you've had a run, man. And to step away for four years and then step back out here and just be like, hey, motherfuckers, I ain't done yet. Hey, I had to be able to confident, though. I had to get some motherfuckers that have a place of shit. Well, hey, right. yeah. bro. Yeah. I had to definitely get some motherfuckers that have a place whoever of shit. Voted yeah. on those, whoever voted on those to get you in that chair. Yeah. Shout out to them. Nah, yeah, I had some good deals out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because sure. uh, I love it, bro. You know, the, when we started this show a year and a half ago, bro, the thought of a little murder on this podcast wasn't out of reach. You know what I mean? It wasn't never like a, hmm, yeah. I don't know if we can get him here. I, I kind of think we could we could have pulled it off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, I yeah. love the, how organic it happened with mm -hmm. you coming back. Mm -hmm. I told set it up, Brody. Yeah, no, nah, facts. And it's and it's ready, man. the setup's yeah, been in motion right. for a while, you know what I mean? But I love I love how it was it was thought of. I, I know it's been thought of because I'm telling you it was, but I love how Rail brung it up back then. Back back during the summer and shit, when all that when that story he told about the landscape and shit, like that's real mm -hmm. fucking shit. Right. Because right. he put it out there then, man. And the uh, now, fast forward, you know, about seven, eight months for you being here in this chair. It's been about that. It's been about seven months since we started these conversations. But the new record that's out, uh, what's the title of that record? Out of Retirement. Out of Retirement. Yeah. I just wanted to say Retirement for some reason. But Out of Retirement and under the name Cortez, you know, mm -hmm. formerly known as Lil Murder, now known as Cortez, sure. with a new record, Out of Retirement, makes this episode so much more effective. To me, personally. Let's get it, man. Right? But you talk about perfect timing, dog. Let's get it. Out of retirement, man. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I don't know. I don't even know how I really... That's the name of the episode, on, by the way. Out of retirement. I don't really stuck on the name, but once I got the pushing, I'm like, it's kind of dope because it kind of like mark a, like a, a, a moment in time. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. Like, it was like a whole, like, even, you know, like... It was one song. People thought it was a fucking long project, bro. So I'm like, okay, that's even better. Like, I was right. like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm giving this kind of push behind one song. I tried to yeah. put the goddamn ass behind it. Right. They talking about the smoking and shit. So I'm glad they put me up on that, though. But uh, are you think, uh? Go ahead. No, I was no, gonna go say, ahead, you go gonna ahead. shoot a? Are you gonna shoot a visual for that for that single? Or are you gonna wait till I the next one? Look, I shot a little quick visual. Already. Oh, okay, okay, cool. It, it wasn't, you know, it was like a mic mic video type. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Is that available now? Not yet. It'll be available pretty soon. A couple of days. It may be. It, it may be when this when this drops. Yeah. yeah by the sure. time, make sure we for get sure. that. So we'll put it yeah, in the we'll description put, below. Okay. Yeah. We'll make sure that people can. Is, uh, it, for sure. is it anybody that you want to work with that you have now that you're with? back in the game? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Oh, yeah. uh, specifically, uh, I'm mean, y'all. Honestly, y'all don't know who one of my favorite artists right now. Go. Toby Wigway. Okay. Oh, Everybody. dude. Yeah. Right. Who's dope? Huh. He hard the mother. Yeah, dude's dope. Yeah. That song, that song that he's got with Chameleon Air. I think I'll yeah. let you hear some shit. When I, when I put your mom. Dude, yeah, the song yeah, with Chameleon Air is fire. I never dude. thought you would have said that, though. That threw me really off. Know, like, That's yeah, cool, I'll though. Dude's dope, dope, dude. I think the record with Chameleon Air, that was the only one I've heard. Nah, he got some shit. Yeah, I have some, to get. I have to get into his catalog. It just, it just lets everybody know like where you at, like how creative you. Yeah, for sure. Oh man, because dude makes all kinds of music. Where's he from? He from Africa. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if he actually lived after, but he repping Texas though. Yeah, gotcha. Texas, yeah. Yeah. Bro, when you to go back real quick, when you, you don't have Mike, bro. Oh, okay. When you at 
When you said it took some people, some you know what I'm saying, when you had to build up your confidence to come back out, as you say, retirement. At that time being, do you listen to family members or you listen to like no, no. Who, straight who is, influence? Just like. Cause you know family gon' you know what I'm yeah, saying like you ain't got too many family members gonna take you out. Yeah, they're your biggest right. cheerleaders. You gotta have like I I like use good ears, good mm-hmm. even good rappers. Like I had you know nigga like B How come on mm-hmm. shout out B How yeah, yeah. but I wanted to, I wanted the lyricists yeah, yeah. to come hear some of the shit. You know what I'm saying like you yeah. know, he was impressed. And B Howard is exactly that. Yeah, yeah you if you're know, looking so for one of those. I had different kind of other ears. You know just I ain't need a lot. In the beginning, because I ain't really know how it was coming. I, I still don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got no, because I, I, that shit will limit you, bro. Like, trying to be like a certain kind of, I ain't coming with no certain kind of artist shit. So it's like. Yeah. Drop the beat and it's how you feel. Correct. Yeah. You're fired, man. Yeah. Correct. I ain't going to find that motherfucker right and, by my and, nuts, though. <laughs> start I might get to try to sing it on this bitch. Yeah, hey, man. Hey, hey, <laughs> no, bro. do what you do, fuck though. You. Yeah, like, fuck him, bro. Do your nah, thing, nah, Jeff. Nah, he laughing. Okay, yeah, he fuck him, bro. Right fuck him. him. And he's laughing like he yeah. I'm telling him. I'm telling him. Hold up, just stay right. Hey, no, no, no. Don't no, blame him. Hey, hey bro. Hey, he used I'm to laugh when Jelly said he's gonna sing too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, hey, hey, see. Yeah, no, you gotta make me a believer. Yeah, that's me. You gonna live with me? That's me. I love yeah, it, man. bro. Some yeah, of the man. shit just I'm just I'm trying to have fun, you know, just do do different shit. Yeah. So at this part of your life, is this considered making music? Yeah, we've been making it, but I think I know how to do it a little better now. I think it's dope that you yeah. said it's all in yeah. house. If you're yeah. making all, that, did you make the beat for out of retirement? Nah. But but still, you're just shopping beats, bringing them in, and just recording them at the house, and then shipping them off, mix, mastered, boom, done. Man, manufacturing, baby. We, we, I want to be the manufacturer of my product. I'm with man, it, million that's percent. Dope, um, that's dope. So with the new single, it's Cortez, Out of Retirement, in play and in motion, available now. We'll make sure it's something's below. So we'll put his YouTube out. channel there, too, so people can see. So y'all can tap all, into that. All streaming platforms. Bro. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Available on all streaming platforms. But at the same time, is that the – Leading to the the project, like like you said, people are already kind of assuming that that's a project out I, the gate. I just want to give a project. It'd it be some shit like it. Like I really, I, I you know, I have to help tell people like slow down. You know, like. got gotcha. you. Yeah, because I heard. I mean, this is inside baseball, but fun fact, I guess. But before we started, I heard you and Chad rapping a little bit, just talking in the corner, and and I know you said that. Like the campaign for now is to focus on singles, right? Just a few singles. Not necessarily singles, just songs. Yeah, yeah just gotcha. Stuff, I yeah. love that. Kind Not singles, but songs. Yeah, right. that's yeah. just songs. That was man. nice. We're just putting out music, bro. Like yeah. when you say singles, people expect a certain thing. I get it. You know, and I'm so glad that you said that, bro, because as soon as you said that, that like a light bulb went off with me. I'm in this, uh, I'm doing this interview, bro. I'm going to call you right back. Professional, love my it. Bad, my bad. No, you good, bro. What were you saying, Todd? I said, um, he'll bring it back in anyways. You're good. I said, um, when you said that about singles, it's you can just be songs like that. Like a light bulb went off in my head because my brain is like very small. Is like don't don't do albums like push singles or whatever. But like if you do if you do songs like you said, you don't have all that stuff attached to it, to where you don't have to feel like well I have to do this and I have to do this and this and this. You just want somebody to hear that shit and stream, you know, yeah, stream one, it. One thing I can say too, man, me coming back to it, <clears throat> I want to make this shit loud and motherfucking clear. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I can use all the help I can get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I ain't on that old. You hear me? Like yeah. trying yeah. to do it myself. None of that shit. Like I definitely, I'm definitely open to building the right team, bro. Right, like, right, yeah. Right. Cause I, I I'm totally uh I I'm totally a believer of the music now. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Me myself, I don't yeah. give a fuck. Nobody ain't got to see it yet. Yeah, uh, I'm there now. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to see it yet. I be telling my wife. I be I'm I be showing the house for the beard these bricks. You hear me? Right? Yeah, yeah. And, you know uh, but yeah, nigga definitely need need some extensions to it, man. Cause it's hard to do this shit by yourself. Bro. I believe that. Well, anything we can do over here at Chat Arms TV, bro, we can help yeah. you. Oh, Whatever man. we got, we do everything in house as well. Man. So yeah, we we operate from graphics to videos to yeah. Label yeah. yeah, we oh, we okay. do it. That's what's up. Yeah, we Big do facts. it here. Yeah. So that's what's we, up. 
it's we, been uh, a it's been we're glad you're back doing yeah. it bro. it's been yeah, interesting yeah, having yeah. you on tonight dog yeah man you know it's, been, I mean? it's been a really dope episode for sure i got i got one more question man yeah. you yeah. probably touched on it already like what, what's been the hardest part of 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 like like getting back to it and, and this is oh, this to is, build like yeah. that self confidence. Yeah, well, yeah, just getting back to the music. And, and I say the hardest right part there. for me, yeah. is overthinking shit. Mm. Man, man, say that shit. Say that's, that's, shit. That's man. about it, bro. So like, it's I funny had, as hell. You I had one of my partners yeah, call me. We talk about that a lot. Yeah. Like even for the song, like I didn't know I was gonna drop that song today. Yeah, I had no fucking clue. I yeah. just I, got, like, I, I made that cover. Yeah, I made that shit inside baseball. Look, just awesome. Yeah. You know, because I was overthinking it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Once again, overthinking shit. And my nigga hit me and said, hey, bro, the thing for the year. He said, man, because he done heard a few of them songs. Anybody that done heard a few of uh, they motivated. He's like, bro, ain't, don't be overthinking shit. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. and that it, it been lingering in my head, mm-hmm. you know. And nigga just can't overthink it, man. Put the shit out. Bro. Right, right. Yeah, dude. You know, do, it, do it the best you can. I, I was going to say do it right, but what is right? You know, do that shit the best you can, man. Right, right. And put that shit out, man. Well, everybody that's, that's tuning into this episode, um, we're going to have Cortez's YouTube channel and his all of his socials. Y'all be sure to tap in, subscribe to him, because especially if he's dropping new music and stuff, that'll be the best way to, to keep you know keep track of what he's got going on for sure. Facts. Agreed. Like about, I said, anything, the, anything like Chad said, yeah, yeah. Anything, yeah. Any, new music, definitely. Cool. Any, anything along the way, though, you think that we can help in any way? I'm I, again, I'm, I'm glad That's that good. we, I'm glad we had you on the podcast the way we had you on. But mm-hmm. I, I'm excited for what, uh, what you got coming. I don't even think you, I don't even think you can describe what you got coming yet because, uh, I don't think it's hit you. But it, the, the amount of support I've seen you receive off out of retirement is definitely going to spark. More music from Cortez. I just see it in the near future, bro. Oh, it's, it's ready. Yeah, I just yeah. I, it's already ready. Hey, like I want to drop some Friday. Hey, if it's I, if it's I, out, I, man, we'll, we'll make sure. We, yeah, yeah. Right. Did you go through? Did you go through your comments and see like? Hell yeah, I people like everything. Like, now. You I'm everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm yeah. Like, yeah. I, got, I got hype when I hey, see yeah. Vac. I'm taking it all in. When I see hey. Vac in yeah. your comments, I got hype. That's my dog. Back, all, back, yeah. back, 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 oh, back that's, that's family, dude. Yeah. I see Vac more than people. To the back. same of what you're saying, real. I saw uh, people sharing it, just sharing the art, and just saying it. Just the like you said, the inspiring, like motivational shit, yeah, bro. I, I saw like he's back. I definitely feel about time. Where you been? You know, like all that kind of shit, bro. It's got to it's got to be a great feeling reading that so, shit after being gone for you know amount of years. You know, I know somebody else that can talk like that. <laughs> man, you no, know, this dude over here decided to step away for eight years. But he's going yeah. through the same thing though. He's seeing same the same thing, thing like the, the support and like, like motherfuckers, yeah. man. Where you been, shit? DMing me, man. Commenting on shit, man. Like this shit, it feels good, man. And, it, and it's all over the place. No, I think I, think I did school. y'all the same way because when mm-hmm. Brett sent it to me. I didn't know it was already out there on social media. Mm-hmm. So when he sent it to me, I'm like, I texted him back. I said, bro, can I post it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, Tez, the fucking the picture fucked me up, bro. Cause I've just I've known your face and known Lil Murder for so many years. And I and I hey, and I contemplate. I say I can't go back. I can't Lil Murder. But when Rail put it in my ear, dude, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, Lil Murder, we're gonna have Lil Murder on. He's gonna he's got new music coming or something. Yeah, yeah. And then the Cortez shit comes and I see it and I'm like I thought that's that's yeah. Is this yeah. the same little murder that Rails telling me he's coming to this fucking show? What's, what's dope is a lot of people probably gonna have that 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 same. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna make it's not a bad thing. No, it all. Man, I want to. So hey, like, I'm, I'm shooting for a whole new. Hey, man. You know my 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 core. I appreciate very much. Like, motherfucker, don't know. I mean, I we just gotta start seeing that real core fucking with. Yeah, you know, like you yeah. know, like yeah. the core really gotta fuck with the artists here a little more, and uh, but I really want a lot of new fans, bro. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't think I was in that mind frame. Yeah, you just cater yeah. to these same people. I'm totally not. not well, you, you finna get some new fans yeah. after yeah. this. Yeah, just yeah. I mean, just, TV regulars will be absolutely tap in for sure, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. one thing we pride ourselves on, especially yeah. when we try to expose people or try to expose artists to to our. Our core fans because yeah. hey, they're gonna get some dope music. I could yeah, they're gonna and they'll be that. core and they'll be they'll be dedicated fans too, bro. That's hey, one they thing. Can hang yeah. around all year long, right here. Because they, sure, we, they know we don't give that chair. <laughs> we don't we don't give that chair to nobody but the real dude. <laughs> hey, 
And they, they tap in usually afterwards. I'm going to do the video out of the real truck. That motherfucker got it. Yeah, it's like <laughs> pussy wagon. It's out of the pussy wagon. That motherfucker yeah. down there took up the whole street. Yeah, it's a uh, stretch. Man. Yeah, dude, like, like Chad said, we'll make sure all the contact information is below uh, rail. Let me tell you, Bubba. You're getting pretty good at this podcast shit, dog. You really are, dog. So. You yeah, be, yeah, on, dog. be on more often, dog. We, lo- we love having real pull up. But be on real, more often, man. On, on some serious shit, Bubba, I appreciate you introducing me to murder, bro. And Absolutely, Cortez in this, in this day and age is Cortez. But at the same time, bro, I appreciate yeah. the bridge building on that one because yeah, this sure, this sure. one surely is on the rail for this. So I, I, it's, I appreciate it. was a really good episode, too, man. Uh, yeah, great episode. I love everything yeah. you brought to the table, dog. But just know we tell all of our guests, bro, once you sit in that chair once, anytime you got some shit to say, pull sure. right. Light the that fuck back up. Let's do it again. Some crazy yeah, sure, y'all sure. want to do. We do some crazy episode. Yeah, um, yeah no, sure, absolutely, man. dog. Yeah, but we we should work. Yeah. Like all, you know, yeah, if it if it be work. y'all on some music or some shit, you yeah. and Chad or you and one or whatever. Or, crazy. Let's I, work. I took this motherfucker with me, y'all, to go buy the shit, man. To do it, y'all. This motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> stupid, <laughs> bro. It was, uh, fun <laughs> fact. Imagine, imagine having to be raised with a motherfucker. Yeah, that's, that's his first cousin. Yeah, that's his first cousin. Look, I ain't fucked up that. What's fucked up? Look, when we shoot a when we shoot a music video, all of us can drive a different car, and they all be owned by real. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Think about that shit. Stern. Fucking asshole. Yeah. I love everybody here. Hey, yeah, Cortez, pull the fuck back up, Bubba. Anytime yeah, you want. Out of retirement, sure. available now. Y'all know what it is. O and E, Hell Rail. Lil Murda used to be. Hey, now we got Cortez. I love That's it, bro. Brand, you know? Chat Arms hey, TV. Yeah, yeah, hey, for the for the lead. Yeah, absolutely, dude. It's I, 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 I'm suing motherfucker. Uh, 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 what's it called? <laughs> Be, <laughs> <he's out. laughs> what? Uh, we finna go trademark it right now, bro. Come on. <laughs> I'm with it, dude. It's I got some shit to say. Com. Chat Arms TV. Com. Chatty, get us out of here. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> Bump, 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 bitch, we got these. <laughs>